okay there's not too many videos on repairing the cable for a lift gate a tommy gate but this is it it's on my truck f-250 and the cable is about to break it's, it's down to two strands two strands so just order the cable and uh we're gonna replace the cable it's a little dirty in there let me get some more light in there right there you can see some dirt and stuff i'm gonna check the drain holes make sure they're all good That piece there is where the cable goes around. And it comes back over here. It's the first loop. It's the one we're replacing. And it comes here. So that's what we're gonna attempt to do. Okay, got the cable out. That's it right there, man. One, two, three, four, five strands broke. So five out of seven strands, it looks like. Seven strands, five of them broke. Yeah. Okay, so a little dilemma here. I gotta get my new cable and loop it around here and down. And then it's got to make a 90 degree turn to get around that pulley there. But there's no space. You see that little hole? That's how much space I got in the bottom of there to get that cable through. So I'm using the old cable with some zip ties. And I'm going to pull it through. I'm going to see if that works. Well, the zip tie concoction didn't work. So I use this little makeshift uh, cable grabber. It's made out of like coat hanger material. I was able to grab the cable and pull it through using this thing. So kind of difficult, but not that difficult. See that hole? It's a tiny freaking hole. I was able to get it in there, man. Just barely. Kind of a pain in the ass. I just used a screwdriver to guide it through there and then pulled it with my hand on the other side. So now I was able to pull it through, as you can see there. Pulled it through. That was the hard part. Okay, I got it all fed through, got it all wired up. You can obviously tell which one's the new one. Just brought it around there, that little uh, pulley. Brought it through here. Now, threading this one through here, just move this old one over and it'll go in a lot smoother. And just tightened it up exactly how it was before with these little clamps. Then I brought it the slack over. I did it differently. I looped it around here and added another clamp because I didn't want this to unthread. I just cut that with a uh, with a grinder wheel. Um, see, that's the, the old piece there. Just cut it with the grinder wheel. And there's, uh, how many strands is that? Five strands? I think five strands, I'm not sure. So is that uh, typical, guys? I mean, you know, a little oily in there, doesn't look too bad. But I'm not an expert at all. First time doing this. So let's uh, give it a shot here. You can see how it's working. That thing's gonna push out. <laughs> That's how it works. That's how it works, guys. 
save yourself a couple hundred bucks I guess so I'm gonna go ahead and clean in there try to see if there's any plugged up uh, drainage plugged up drainage holes we'll find out